Miracles are natural. Here are five simple, doable steps to manifest the miracle that you desire. Hi, I'm Saratoga Ocean, and I help people master the law of attraction, spiritually awaken, and embark on a path of ascension. And in this video, I'm going to share with you five doable steps to manifest whatever miracle you desire. Now, before I begin, leave me a comment below and let me know if you need a miracle right now. You can just type in the word miracle or you can be specific and tell me what the miracle is that you most desire. So what is a miracle? A miracle is simply a desired result that does not match your current experience of reality. Now, it's important to know that miracles are natural. In truth, a miracle is nothing more than an expansion of our ability to create. It's an expansion beyond that which we are normally accustomed to creating on an everyday basis. In fact, if we were wholly in touch with our true selves, we probably wouldn't even call it a miracle. We would just say, we're just going to create something much bigger than anything we've created before. And I also want you to know that there are many different approaches that you can use to creating a miracle. But the one I'm going to share with you today is very simple and very doable and only has five simple steps. Step number one is to let go of your current reality. Now your current reality has a certain feel and a certain flow to it. It has certain potentialities, right? And if you're looking for a miracle, you're probably looking at the potential that you see in front of you based on your current reality. And you might be telling yourself, you know, I don't see how this miracle can come about given where my life is at this moment. And you might be feeling that way because your current reality and your mindset, the one that you currently hold, may not be able to yield the miracle that you seek. So you're going to need to pivot away in your consciousness from your current reality, which you can only do by letting go of it. And the way that you let go of it is by releasing importance on it, by not placing so much importance on the reality, on your reality as you know it right now. Because you see, whatever you place importance on, that is the thing that you have your energy invested in. So it almost acts like an anchor to that current reality. And we are so often in the habit of focusing and putting our energy on what we don't want instead of letting go of that so that we can open ourselves to that which we do want. So when you release importance, when you stop making your current situation, your current reality so important and have so much energy invested in it, even if it's an energy that says, I don't want this, when you just release the importance, you will naturally begin to let it go. Now, step number two is to shift your consciousness to a new timeline. See, the reality that we talked about letting go of, that has a certain trajectory to it and a certain timeline to it. And probably when you were looking at that trajectory, you're probably thinking, hmm, I don't see how a miracle can come about in this current situation. So when you shift your consciousness, first you've let go of that reality, right? Then you shift your consciousness to a whole new timeline where the miracle that you want is actually possible. Then you're going to have a lot more chance of that miracle actually manifesting for you. Now, let me explain to you how this works. I want you to picture something. Picture a point in time, that point, is right now, wherever right now is in the present moment. Now from that point emanates, imagine spokes, in, an infinite number of spokes emanating out from that point, just like spokes emanating from the center of a wheel. And each one of those spokes represents a possible timeline or a possible trajectory that your life can move in from that ever present moment of now. 
Now what happens is we get focused on one specific timeline, one of those spokes. We're just completely attached to it. We say, this is it. This is all there is. This is the only potential I have. And maybe that miracle's not at the end of that timeline. It's really about pivoting to a different timeline where the miracle is possible. And that's actually not very difficult because you already took step one, right? You let go of that first timeline. You released importance on it. You said, this is no longer the most important timeline to me any longer. I want to let that go and shift to another timeline where my miracle is actually a reality. Now you might be saying, well, how do I do that, Saratoga? How do I know which timeline it is? Well, it's really, really simple. All you have to do is picture the outcome that you want and intend to shift your consciousness. And this is really natural. You don't want to make this like a forced effort. It's just an intention to shift to whatever timeline has that miracle as one of its end results in that, in that particular trajectory. So for example, let's say that right now the timeline that you're facing is represented by an end result of the letter A at the end of that timeline. But what you want is the outcome of B. So you just turn and face B by intending B and releasing the line that leads to A, which is the current one you've been on. And now you're focused on B. Now you don't know what comes between right now and B, but that's okay because that's going to be revealed to you as your miracle unfolds and as you get closer and closer to it. So the way you shift to the timeline you want that has the miracle at the end of it is just focus on the miracle that you want. Now, step three is to relax and raise your vibration. And the reason you need to be relaxed and have a high vibration is so that you are more flexible and you can make that shift from one timeline to the newer one that has the outcome that you most desire. And you can do this by bringing a lot more love into your life as you currently experience it. Because you see, the thing is you actually don't need to force a miracle. When you try to force a miracle, you're probably coming from fear. And fear is not really a creative force at all, but love is. So the more love energy that you put into your life, the more creative force you're putting into your life, the higher your vibration becomes and the easier it is for you to make the shifts necessary to reach that outcome that you are seeking. So you want to put as much love into your life as possible so that you can stay relaxed and peaceful. And remember this, love always creates a positive outcome. Love and gratitude will open your heart to receive the positive result that you want. So find ways to love the life that you are experiencing right now. Find things to be grateful for because love will keep you open and flexible. It will keep you humble and sincere. And here is something very, very important to recognize. Did you know that the universe literally cannot resist a sincere, open and humble, loving heart. So the more you put yourself in that place of love, the higher your vibration, the more flexible you become, the more relaxed and peaceful you are, and the easier it will be for you to make a natural shift onto that timeline that you want that has a miracle waiting for you as your end result. All right, now step number four is ask for guidance and support. All miracles are co-created. They are the result of synergistic forces in this universe coming together with your co-creative energy to create the result that you most want. And one of the things that we are given in this life is a great deal of support to align with those positive forces. That support can come in the form of your angels, your guides. It can come to you through prayer. Whatever works for you, whatever feels the most natural for you, or whatever vehicle you want to 
request that support through and that guidance through, it's all available to you. So might as well take advantage of that, right? Because there's a whole lot that you might not be able to see. You might have blind spots. So wherever you can receive that divine guidance or intuitive guidance from your inner wisdom, from your heart, from the universe, your angels, your guides, ask for their support. And this is why step three is about being relaxed and peaceful because when you're open, you're also more open to that guidance. You're more open to intuition. You're more open to the signs and signals of what you need to do next or where you need to go next. So remember that you never have to do this all by yourself. You are never alone, but it is important to ask for help when you feel you need help. Ask from within your heart, receive the help that you so deserve. So those first four steps are all designed to position you to be able to take step number five. Step number five is to take inspired action. So miracles often require some type of action on your part. Remember that action produces movement. So you've pivoted to a new timeline, but now you want to start moving forward to that miracle. Now the action could take many forms. It might be something very subtle. You might feel some intuitive feeling to go to a certain place and, and there's an opportunity waiting for you there, or somebody has some information for you that's going to help you understand something you need to know in order for that miracle to manifest. So actions can be very subtle. They can be very almost discreet in a way, or they can be big, bold actions. It just depends on what it is that you are wishing to create. So step number five, you can look at it this way. It fundamentally involves having the willingness to perhaps do something new, perhaps do something a little out of the ordinary, perhaps to think differently, to look at a situation from a new perspective. Step number five is really about action and doing or thinking or perceiving in a brand new way, guided by all of the previous four steps that lead to that final step five. So in those first four steps, you've released the old reality, you've pivoted to a new timeline that has the miraculous outcome that you want at the end. You've raised your vibration, you've relaxed, you're peaceful, you're loving, you're grateful. You've asked for guidance in whatever way has meaning for you. And now you are beautifully positioned to do whatever your part is on the level of action to bring the forces together for your miracle to manifest. So when you put all of these five steps together, you have one of the simplest, most direct ways to manifest whatever new reality or miracle that you most want to create. And again, remember to leave me a comment below and let me know if there's a particular miracle that you want to manifest. If you want, you can write down what it is as your statement that that is what your intention is, that's where you intend to go, or you can just write, type the word miracle in the comments. And as always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up share it out with your friends. I'd be most grateful if you subscribe to my channel and remember to hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I post a new video. And with that, I'm sending you loads of love, light, and positive energy. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.